Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the talented artist, John Singer Sargent. Born in 1856 in Florence, Italy, he had a unique upbringing being an American with European roots. His family moved around quite a bit, soaking up the culture and diversity of places like France, Germany, and Italy. These experiences would later influence his art in remarkable ways. In the early 1900s, Sargent spent some time in Venice, capturing the city's beauty and charm in his paintings. Take a look at the Calle della Rosa with the Monte di Pietà, Venice, and Santa Maria della Salute. You can see the vibrant colors and intricate details, almost as if the paintings themselves are alive with the energy of the bustling streets and historic architecture. Sargent was also deeply inspired by the people he encountered. Italian model and man with red drapery showcase his ability to capture the human form with precision and subtlety. The way he plays with light and shadow adds depth and emotion to each piece. One of his most iconic works, in a gondola, Jane de Glenn, displays his mastery in capturing a moment in time. The painting portrays a couple gliding through the canals of Venice, their expressions and body language conveying a sense of romance and intimacy. Sargent didn't limit himself to Venice, though. Typolo ceiling, Milan is a stunning depiction of an ornate Italian ceiling, showcasing his attention to detail and architectural prowess. Meanwhile, the tramp and Spanish convalescent show his ability to portray individuals with both empathy and honesty. Lastly, let's not forget about Sargent's ability to create powerful sketches and studies. Study for the coming of the Americans is a prime example of his dedication to meticulous planning and preparation for larger works. So there you have it, John Singer Sargent, the artist who brought the beauty and diversity of Europe to life through his paintings. His experiences, whether it was moving from country to country or encountering the people and places that captured his imagination, shaped his art into something truly remarkable.